welcome back and today I want to talk about the Peak Design Tech Pouch. I've had mine since it first came out and it is jam packed full of the tech that I use on a daily basis and I want to take a, a closer look of that to, so I can show you exactly what I've got inside. So the bag itself, this is mine, this is in uh, black, you can get it in a couple of uh, different finishes I think, don't quote me, I'll have to check on the website, I think it's two finishes that you can get this in. It's built of like a wax like material on the outside and if we just have a brief overlook um, just around the bag before we go into the closed camera and look inside it, it's got a single zip along the top which is a waterproof um, zip as well and then it's got a zip along the back. So the zip along the back, it's actually got a pass through, That's uh, pass through means uh, it's got a hole which goes into the inside and this is so you can put a mobile phone in there, your cable going into a power bank and you can charge a mobile phone. I have to admit though, I can't fit a mobile phone into this with all the equipment that I've got on the inside. So this is purely just to put a bit of change in for me and a couple of notes when on the go and I just throw this in my bag. Uh, again, looking around it, we've got a little handle here on the side and we've got uh, one on the top and there's one on the back there. And we've also got these anchor points just here and here and this is so you can put the Peak Design anchors on there and if you've got one of their little straps then you can attach it to this and then you can uh, throw it round. Again, I'll throw up on the screen what would that look like if I actually put a strap on and then I, uh, I put this over my shoulder. Uh, that's for if you're not taking anything else with you, another bag and you want this just to uh, maybe put your camera in, mobile phone, uh, your wallet and a couple of other things and you, you can use it as a bag as well. So good for traveling if you don't want to take a lot on the road. So that's probably basically it looking around the outside. I do have to say this is my go-to tech pouch and it is rammed full of the kit that I do use on a daily basis and I know if I grab this, I throw it in my bag with uh, my iPad then uh, I'm, I'm good to go. I can do anything on the road uh, with everything that's in here along with charging my mobile phone, charging my iPad uh, and so on and so forth. So let's go over to the overhead camera and let's take uh, a better look of what's inside this, how I organize it and how it makes my life a little bit easier. So here we've got the P Design tech pouch. As you can see, uh, we've got the zip running along the top. We've got another zip along the back. Uh, the logo is just here. And then we've got the two extra fastening pouches that are just here. Uh, if we can just quickly undo this back zip. There's a pocket in there, but as the inside is so full, I can't fit anything into that pocket. So it's a little bit useless. Maybe you can put some change in there, some notes for um, if you're going around a, an airport and you just need access to something quick. Little pass through hole just there for a cable. I'll just quickly show you. So I've got my mobile phone and I can't push it into there uh, because it's so packed on the inside but that's not a, a big problem like I said I would just put some notes and some small change in there so let's open up the bag itself a little, uh, little bit disappointed that they're not YKK zippers uh, they do feel like they're just a, a cheap zip even though they've got a kind of a waterproof uh, seal on them uh, but I don't know if they're fully waterproof so don't quote me on that and the tabs just look a little bit cheap ow. It looks like it's a bit of tape with a bit of stitching through it to hold it together. I think they could have put a, a better zip, maybe a more of a material zip on it um, that would last a bit longer. So, but we'll see with time how these stand up. So as you can see, when you open the actual main zip, it just then opens like aragami where all the dividers open up and you can see into the whole bag itself 
So looking around this, this is everything I normally carry on a, a day-to-day basis. Um, I'm filming this on the Osmo Pocket. So this is just the case to the Osmo Pocket. That just normally sits on the top there. So I'll start from the inside and I'll work uh, my way out. So let's um, just take that out so you can see that there. Then on the inside, I've normally got um, a notebook. So you can see here, just a field notes book. And that's just for me a jotting down some things on the go if I haven't got my phone to hand. Then we've got a, a rather deep, large pocket. There's nothing else in there but some business cards. So there's two pockets either side. You can see here, I have some business cards just to hand if I need them. So let's pop those back in. And then on the inside here, on this one, uh, I've got a, a lightning cable for my uh, phone for charging. That just fits on the inside pocket just in there. Then on this left hand side, this is a stand for my Osmo Pocket. I picked this up off Amazon, it was just a couple of quid and it eliminates you having to hold the um, Osmo Pocket or balance it on something. It just fits straight in there, it's got a rubber base on, a nice little cheap stand for it. Then just underneath that I have my um, adapter for my headphones, so I use Bluetooth headphones. When you're on the plane, this is just so I can plug into the uh, planes and watch the or listen to the music. Uh, music, get my words right. Listen to the movies as I'm watching them through my own headphones. And then here, this is for my Apple Watch, so I can charge it on the go. This is just a spare one that I have, and that just lives in that pocket just there. We have got a zip on this inside one, so if I zip it up, then I've got some dongles in there. So this is a an SD dongle, and this is a HDMI dongle for the iPhone as well. So if I need to do any presentations on the go, I can. And then in this, we've got the adapter for the headphones. Most airlines have changed this now where you don't need it, but for the ones that do, I do still carry the adapter. That's basically it for in that pocket. So we'll zip that back up. Then moving to these back pockets. Again, another cable. Um, maybe I'm charging up my uh, iPhone and uh, when my partner's with me, I'll be charging up hers as well on the go. So I tend to carry two of these cables with me. Moving over to the left, left hand pocket. Obviously we know that I. Uh, Apple has changed their connectors on the iPad Pro. That's majority of my work on the go. I use the iPad Pro 2018 and um, it's now a USB-C. So this is my USB-C cable for, for that, for charging it. So we'll just pop that in there. So that's these sort of center compartments just gone through. Now let's look at this uh, this back one. The most important thing that I use every single day is my Gnar box. Uh, I'm a backer of the Gnar box and I have got the new edition on its way that has a screen as well. So really looking forward to using that and I will do a full review on it. So the Gnar box, all my data on the go lives on that. Then on this side, we simply just have um, a power uh, plug for as you can see, it's the USB-C. I can't wait for Apple to update the iPhone to a USB-C, because at the moment I have to carry two plugs. This is a standard USB, and this is obviously a USB-C. So uh, that will be eliminated when the Apple updates their content to um, use USB-C on the iPhone, hopefully. Then at the back here, I've got the cables that I use every day. So, on this side, um, we've got a, a cable for charging the Gnar box. So that lives just there. And then on the left hand side, I've got uh, a mini USB and then I've got a standard 
USB cables on the left hand side. As you can see, I've also got a pen, there's two loops at the back there, and I have a pen attached. So let's just uh, spin this around. So what I've got on the, the last compartment at the back is a power bank. This is a hefty size power bank, you can see there. Um, and then this has a USB-C, I don't know if you can see that with the, the light. Uh, it's got a USB-C charging, it's got a USB-C um, outgoing and then a USB standard um, outgoing as well. So I can actually charge my iPad, my iPhone three times uh, all in one go using this. So a really good power bank. We should have a full charge. We've got a full charge as well. And again, I will do a full review on this uh, in time, but I'm still testing it, but up to now, really impressed with what this can do. So let's just pop that there. And then that's kind of empty for that. I've just got a couple more cables along the back. So these are USB-C to standard USB, and this is a USB-C to USB-C. Obviously my, um, my MacBook, uh, that I take with me as well. It's the latest MacBook and that has USB-C ports all around. So it's good to have uh, the cables to adapt for anything because nowadays we're using USB-C and standard USB. In time that'll all change and everything will be USB-C and it'll make life so much easier. So there you go, um, a brief look at everything that I carry with me on the day and uh, obviously my Osmo Pocket will live on top. I'm trying to do the majority of all my YouTube videos now with the Osmo Pocket because it's a, a lot easier and a lot more robust to do it like that. Oh, let's just have a quick look at this pass-through. So you can see here we've got the zip. If we undo this zip, then you can see my finger just comes through slightly there. So that's where the pass through obviously is. So then my power bank would obviously sit in there and uh, you could connect up and you could do all the charging on the go with uh, your phone in here. If your phone's gonna go in here, while it's empty, now you can see there that my phone's quite squeezed. It will fit in when this pocket um, is quite empty. I do have the um, the iPhone uh, 10s Max, so it is the largest iPhone. So if you've got a smaller iPhone, it may fit in there, you may be able to pass it through. One last item um, that I always do carry around with me, even though I've got my, uh, my main headphones, my Sony um, headphones, noise cancelling, I still carry my AirPods around with me. So they live in the back there. And this is just in case I don't take my bigger headphones. I've always got a set of headphones. I can listen to some music as I'm editing or if I'm doing any podcasts, then I can uh, use these to do the, the audio recording. And they just live in the back just there. So that's it. Um, that's the look at all my tech that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis and the bag, how it unfolds. So there you have it guys, uh, the Peak Design Tech Pouch. More importantly, my Peak Design Tech Pouch and what I store inside this. As you can see from us looking at uh, the overhead camera, what's inside this, I think you can appreciate, I do fit rather a lot in this little gem. And that's just how I organize it, and that's just one way of organizing it. Maybe you've got a laptop, um, and you just need to put the laptop charger in there, uh, maybe a mobile phone, a couple of other bits. So, sky's the limit. You can use it in various different ways. How much does this cost? Well, depending on where you are in the country, here in the UK, you're looking around about 59 pound. You can go to Wex, Park Cameras, Amazon, all of those places sell it. Uh, if you keep an eye out, then you'll be able to get a good deal on it. More importantly, conclusion, is it worth it? Yes, it is. 
it is a steep price to pay for uh, a bag to put your cables in but as I've showed you it is I would say the most unique way of organizing your cables especially with the origami way how they've uh, divided all the pouches up inside there is nothing more than when you're putting your hand in the bag you pull out a cable and there's five other cables attached to it you probably spend 10 minutes untangling it you untangle use the cable put it back never know how it happens but the next time you come to get that cable it's tangled up again this eliminates that where there's all the little different tiny pouches inside to organize yourself put your cables in and you are stress-free on the go on the road so there you go that's my conclusion it is um, a must-have for any photographer blogger um, you know tech guru who's on the road a lot and wants to organize themselves so I hope that's uh, helped you out and give you a little insight into the Peak Design Tech Pouch. Please do hit that uh, subscribe and like button. It really does help me out. Other than that, check back soon for more videos. This is a brand new season that I'm doing for this year and I will be posting uh, loads of new content and I'm going to try and keep up with it where it's a minimum of one video a month. But I will try and do weekly. Thanks a lot for watching, check back soon, see you.